Oh, the Tabari Island. <laughs> I remember mine as fortnight. When I was just a lad. We'd go to Barry Island. The weather always bad. In a brand new shirt and shoes that hurt. The ones mum saved to buy. To go to Barry Island on that last week in July. We'd catch a western by the square. My bucket in my hand. <laughs> then all the fuss, they get on the bus and we always have to stand. <laughs> then I'd be sick. <laughs> and my shoes I'd kick. The ones mum saved to buy to go to Barry Island on that last week in July. They'd put me by the driver for me to have some air. And my mother'd say, he's never this way. She'd come and cool my hair. <laughs> then I'd see the sea and I'd want to be. <laughs> And if I couldn't, I would cry. <laughs> when we went to Barry Island on that last week in July, our caravan, the water's edge, ten miles from the sea, and we drag the cases over and we didn't have the key. Seen him on television. <laughs> Aye, it's called interference. <laughs> we couldn't light the gas lamp. I've gone and marked my tie. When I went to Barry Island on that last week in July. I'm on the beach. It's Sunday. I've met a friend called Russ. I'll have to buy another bucket. I've left mine on the bus. <laughs> I've cut my foot. It's bleeding. My cousin says, you'll die. <laughs> and we'll bury you in Barry on the last week in July. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going to the fair tonight. My bucket full of shells. The weather forecast settled now with dry and sunny spells. I bought Mangi a present and I've waved the sea goodbye. 
My mother's found my plastic mac and the weather's nice and dry. <laughs> I, that's how I remember Miner's fortnight when I was just a lad. I went to Barry Island and the weather always bad.